Good evening, Kolkata. Good evening. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Actually, I was attending the hall session here. So the delegates were telling about Germany, France, and all the European countries, right? So I was thinking, like, I have got a good slide to present here about India. So I'm basically from Kerala, and I'm doing my research in Chennai, uh, Tamil Nadu. and now i have traveled to kolkata for this presentation so during this travel and during my endeavor in india i i realized and you already know that india is a country which is very rich in culture am i right yes okay so india is not only really rich in its culture and heritage but india stands at number 3 in the pharmaceutical industry and it is one among the top 5 in the textile industry and say no more about chemical industry this booming day by day and the whole world consider india to lead the fourth industrial revolution which will be based on artificial intelligence and india is considered as the base startup hub in the whole world so Do you know how much a water bottle cost here? One liter water bottle, twenty rupees or fifteen or thirty depends on if it's a airport or Kolkata street, right? So it varies actually. So it is easy to predict the price of a water bottle when you are in this India. But I should say there is a sad reality. Around forty million of Indian people. are suffering from water borne diseases around 70% of the population doesn't have access to clean water this is not a case of india alone it is happening globally but why i am saying india again because i was born and brought up in india so it is my duty to address this issue am i right yes yes so all the whole world there are more than 1000 children die in a single day due to diseases by unclean water around 40 million liters of waste water is passed to the water bodies every single day so what do we have to do what do we have to do we have to clean we have to clean water right we have to treat the water so what it takes to treat water we need energy right to run the treatment plants to cleaning this stuff we need energy so water pollution and energy we can say that this is a sides of a single coin today i am standing here to present a single device which can produce energy and clean water simultaneously myself sangeet jha from prithvi growth center anna university So the name of my device is photocatalytic fuel cell. There's a lot of scientific jargon, right? Photocatalytic fuel cells. So fuel and cell is fine, right? Okay. Photocatalysis. What do you mean by photocatalysis? Photo means what? Light. And to catalyze means to yeah the rate of the reaction changes. So to understand what is photocatalysis, you have to understand what is a photocatalyst. A photocatalyst. Before that, I will just pass you two of the catalyst materials, which I have synthesized in lab. I will just pass it to the audience. You can, if you want, you can open and have a look. But don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Because when I say photocatalyst, you may think that what is it? What? What does it look like? It is just a powder. it may be in white color it may be in brown color it may be in black color it is just a powder so what is so special about this material or this powder it activates when the light shines upon it okay so this is our material where the electrons are rotating around the atoms so when the light is shine upon the material these electrons jump out and leaving the holes behind so but then what is the need of this electron and why we have to do all this these electrons and holes can participate in a hell lot of applications ranging from 
hydrogen production, wastewater treatment, antibacterial coating, carbon dioxide production, self-cleaning surfaces. Does it look like a magic? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Just from the material which I have passed, so you can pass that material there. From the material you have seen, we are doing all these kind of experiments. So consider I have a sugar jar here. If you anybody want to test, you can come and test it. I have a jar of sugar. And sugar is the base of many candies. Am I right? Yes. So Consider this sugar as photocatalysis and I am going to close this with an empty lid and see what happens. So, usually magicians cover this with a black cloak, but I am not a full time magician, right? I am a researcher. So, I need some light. So, let light do the magic and we will see what photocatalysis have. So, I am opening this and keeping here and I will show you what we have got here. Oh. Okay, so this is what we are getting from photocatalysis. So, what you are now having in your hand is not just a mere candies, but you have these applications in your hand. Hydrogen production, just check which candy you have got. Whether it is melody, then it is hydrogen production. You can have the list here. Okay, so why am I standing here? These are the well-known applications of photocatalysis. But I have something special. But not for you, just for me actually. I, I, I share with you the novel application of photocatalysis. That is photocatalytic fuel cells. I am not going to share this, but I will share the scientific details about photocatalytic fuel cells here. So, the photocatalytic fuel cell, it basically clean wastewater and use the energy in the wastewater as a fuel and produce energy and clean water. Okay, so the outputs will be energy and clean water, input is wastewater. Does it look amazing? Yes. Does it sound amazing? Yes. Okay. So, I will show you how this whole thing works. Okay, so basically first, what is the first thing we need? That is the polluted water, right? Then only we, have, we can clean that. So first we need the polluted water, then we will introduce photoanode and cathode here. Again some scientific jargons, photoanode, cathode. So what is photoanode? I passed you the material, right? Photocatalyst material, it is just powder. We will coat this powder in a conducting material. That will give you photo anode. Okay, as of now you keep it like this. It is a bit hard, but we will take that powder, coat it in a material, and that will give you photo anode. Okay, so in the first slide, I told you that when light is shining upon the material, what happens? Yeah, exactly. Electrons and holes are produced, and electrons are jumped to the conduction band now. Okay, so the main disadvantage of photocatalysis is that the higher recombination rate. Like my previous slammer said, they are like Charut and Kajol. However, you try to separate them, they will come together. Okay, so that is the higher recombination rate. So here what we are doing in this application is that we are giving an external circuit for this electron to pass. So what happens when electron is passing through an external circuit? Now what is it called? Electron is flowing. Huh? Electricity. Electricity. So here we have energy production and see the holes are there still waiting. That will produce something called hydroxyl radicals that will walk and eat out all the pollutants in the water and eventually we will get some clean water. Okay. okay. So I hope this concept of photocatalytic fuel cell is understood by most of you but now I will show you something to engrave that idea onto your minds. Is it okay? Yes. So what we have here is photocatalytic. What is written? 
Is it visible? Yes. 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 So, <coughs> what I have here is a uh, waste water which I have collected from Chennai and took it over here. So, first I will show you how this works. I open this box and I will show you. Is it empty? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I will keep this wastewater inside and see how the magic works. Okay. So, again, as like the first experiment, we don't have to close this, but we need some light. So, let there be light and we see what photocatalytic fuel cell has done. What we have here is some clean water which is even drinkable. But I promised you something else, right? Not only clean water. What was that? Huh? Electricity. So, let's see if there is any electricity inside. No. So, what we have here is clean water and electricity from photocatalytic fuel cell. So, now you may think this is a concept or this is just in papers or it's just a magic show. But that is not the case. I am doing my research in the cellular channel and we have been collecting samples. Not some synthetic samples which are prepared in the lab. But we go to places in Chennai and collect in very bad conditions from the dump yards and stuff, we collect samples. So I will show you some of those images. That is me preparing for sample collection. And again you can see those are the dump yards in Chennai where we are collecting water samples. We will clean those samples because initially we can't just use it as such but we will treat the samples and again then we will use this photocatalytic fuel cell for our applications. So these are the, some of the sites. So now it comes to the end. We have this photo, these are the original image of photo electrodes. These are the LED reactor we are using as a light source. And this is a photocatalytic fuel cell, the whole setup. Okay. And I will share you some interesting Results also, we have achieved a maximum power of 20 milliwatt per centimeter square and degradation has achieved around 95% in 4 hours. This is something else, okay, you don't have to bother about that, but we have achieved something, okay. This may be very high, but I am pretty sure that if the scientific community can stand together and work on this kind of cells, we can scale it up in a very beautiful manner. If we need water, we have to clean water. If we need energy, we need to have renewable energy. And when you have both in a single go, never let it go. Thank you. Yeah.